welcome to circuitvalley.com this video is going to be about rtb2004 from rodeon schwartz this is a 300 megahertz unit top of the spec all the options are enabled and this video is mostly going to be about the small little quirks in this particular instrument mostly for documentation purpose so that i can show it to the rodeon schwartz clips in this video are not recorded the same day they were spread over the time as i was using this instrument so i found out these bugs getting along these videos were recorded in the May, June, July 2022 and at the time firmware version was set up, firmware update and currently showing you the build 2021, 18, 11 and 2.4 version number. So this is the latest firmware available at the moment of the recording of this video. So let's go ahead with the video. First problem which I am going to show you is going to be about the bus decode. So let's start. As you can see on your screen, I have channel number 1 and channel number 2 enabled. Channel number 1 is currently set to normal trigger and falling edge so that I can capture a I square C bus and uh, let's do it then. It has just kept it. Let's zoom in a little bit to see if we have captured properly yes it did capture something so let's try to decode it I'm going to enable the protocol and uh, okay so my thing just from the screen just disappeared okay so this is also one little problem which sometimes appear when you try to enable bus the whole data just goes messed up it has not triggered again and it has not done anything it's just gone ski so let's i will try to capture the data one more time and then we will try to debug the bus one more time i will disable the protocol for now it's off it has captured something and you can see a little bit about well, this weird effect on the display. As soon as I little bit zoom in, it will disappear. Okay, so this is also one display issue. You saw that the waveform was not displayed properly both of the channels. And let's now enable the protocol. I will stop the instrument first. It has been stopped now, it will not do anything funny. And protocol decode I square C sorry I square C and then configuration of the bus is going to be this is a 1.8 volt bus, so I'm going to set it a little bit lower from by here and also the same for this guy as well see in the corner yeah so it's done so let me see my square c you do not see anything let's see if it is properly enabled decode off on no it is not showing anything at all display setup does the display setup have anything no so the problem with this uh, instrument, I don't know if it is a feature or a problem, is that once data is in the memory and you have already acquired the data and the instrument is um, stopped or waiting for trigger condition, like data is on your screen and you try to enable the bus and you want to decode the already existing captured data, you will not be able to do it. It just doesn't work. And I would now do a single trigger. I have enabled the bus one more time. Detect. I will. Uh, I will try to transmit the I square C information one more time, and then we will see. Let's do single trigger one more time. Single. And now. Let's capture. It did capture something, and it showed data as well. So this is a somehow repeatable and absolutely reproducible issue. Today in this video, 
I'll be showing you a little bug. I have captured line sync pulses from a video frame and set up a count measurement on it on channel number 4. Count is on the bottom left hand side corner. You can see 205 that is showing. And if you see, if you want to see how much memory I'm using, it is automatically captured to 20 to 15 mega samples. And let's see how count changes. I'm going to change the time base and because of the aliasing, you will see the count measurement is completely broken. It's a little bit change I have done. And you can see the count has changed from 218. 205 to 225 even though the number of pulses is exactly the same and if I go into zoom you can see these pulses are really really fine they are not that wide at all so that's why it's causing issue let's go into course mode it's showing correctly but as soon as it start aliasing it goes heebie jeebie all broke, hell broke loose. The aliasing is in such a way that it always show almost around 220, 230, so 226 even though you can see on the top of the screen we are at around 25% of the package and now even further it's showing 151 to 100, 226, 200, 206 and completely zoom out 205 so definitely there is a bug there are quite a few bugs in this instrument and this is just one of them it's not that quirky one more issue with this particular measurement function is when you're trying to measure count or something like that this instrument doesn't allow you to have a gating like you have to measure on the screen whatever is displayed on the screen will be measured so when you're measuring rms or something like that these values are perfectly fine but if you're measuring count i would love to have a some kind of gating like measure on whole record measure on screen or measure on on measure on between the cursors so you could quickly set the cursor and measure between the cursor and right now if you want to measure number of pulses you have to find adjust the time base to get your signal exactly match to the horizontal display and then measure but this time even that measurement function is broken if you want to see how does it look on another oscilloscope then I'll go down to my tectronics so this is how it looks on my tectronics and in the measure function I have gating turned to screen which is exactly the same it has option between the cursor of the record and between on the screen I was able to get this signal exactly on the screen so it doesn't matter this time so you can see on the bottom left corner 990 pulses so in this case Rode on Schwartz is causing issue because of the aliasing aliasing is a big problem just as I was recording this video regarding the not decoding on the existing data in the buffer I found out one more issue look at your screen there's an I square C capture happen and uh, V2 is being decoded it is already decoded the bus was already enabled before I captured the data. It was supposed to capture, but it's not being displayed on the screen. And now I press the zoom button. Oh, it's gone. Zoom out. Ah, it came back again without doing anything. And now zoom, it's not there. Zoom back again. It is there or not there anymore. Um, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but sometimes it appears in the only in the zoom mode, sometimes appear only in the zoom out mode. Uh, now it appears again. I only zoomed in and out. I didn't capture anything at all. Okay, so let's look at the acquisition menu. How much it's on the set on nine mega sample depth? Let's zoom in. It appeared, disappeared again. And it's not there anymore so I don't know what's going on there I want to point out one little thing about the uses of the cursor in this particular instrument 
I may be wrong or maybe using them incorrectly so I would like to get some feedback if this is the correct way to do it like if I turn on the cursor and let's turn on the cursor menu cursor is set to source 4 and suppose I want to measure on source 4 something from here to how, how far this B8 is so right now you can see my cursor number 2 is somewhere off the screen I can select it and if I want to drag it you can see on the top left corner it is trying to come back into the triggerable range but it will take insane amount of time oops I just moved my beard from so it will take insane amount of time and it's pretty annoying so I guess this is what the set to trace is if I choose select 4 and do set to trace it's supposed to come onto the screen where the C4 transaction are there but there is only one transition visible on the screen another transition may be way deep in the in the time later that's why this channel number two is pointing to that particular point wherever that is so my point of is that there is no way to get this cursor onto the screen and if I want to measure from here till B8 there is no way to do it I have to go to cursor menu and play some tricks and select channel number maybe let's select D 0 to D7 and now set to trace now I guess it came onto the screen yes it came into the screen and now we can go back to and measure the thing which we want to measure and now just it just went away somewhere else so it may be a bug I don't know it just got something so I got them one more time to screen select yeah it disappeared one more time so I just caught one another bug here set to trace no it's not coming I cannot do it so this is this bug which I never intended to show but it came up here somehow okay my another instrument which I particularly use is uh, Tektronics MDO 3000 and that particular instrument with this cursor it has a button it's called bring cursor to screen regardless of the waveform so that kind of thing may be useful or maybe something else I don't know and one more thing I would like to point out about this cursor is like I think they have this feature called uh, track scaling but it does not work properly I could not be able to demonstrate it immediately but if I want to measure like really fine and go into deep in detail and uh, try to exactly measure like if I zoom in deep and put one point here zoom in deep put one point here so this another pointer moves away so you cannot measure really fine times with it that's one problem so here is another problem with this particular scope on your screen you can see right now I have 15 out of 16 digital channel enabled a parallel bus decode and I have channel number 3 enabled in the acquisition menu memory length is automatically set to 7.5 mega samples and uh, if you go try to do anything with it like uh, zoom in zoom out or just change the time base this slope is really slow I'm going to press the zoom button one two three and now it's taking its time doing something what it is want to do and now it is on the scope right now you can see scope st stopped it's not acquiring anything let's zoom out I zoom in again and I'm going to show you the changing time base and how slow is it I mean it doesn't have to be this slow my MDO 3000 appears slow but this is like really slow and I'm going to move this here I have done it and now it's done well, it's somewhat slow for my taste I was expecting it to be a little bit faster than this so here's one more problem with this instrument or maybe you can call it a quake that's how fast it responds to the user interface commands on the, on the keypad side I have all the four channels enabled in the acquisition menu you can see it has 30 kilo samples automatic so it's not that many and let's see how fast I can switch off channel number one and channel number four or maybe channel number one and channel number two for no reason 
I quickly want to switch them off so I will press this button twice press this button twice one after another okay one two one two so it worked on channel 2 didn't work on channel 1 so I want to turn on channel 2 once and let's turn off them in the reverse order now they both worked okay so turn on turn on and now I'll show you it responds quite a bit of slow let's select the channel number phone my hand is back channel number three it takes a little more time than I expected it to be like if I want to quickly turn off channel number one channel number two now it works on number two, sorry channel number three it worked on channel number three same thing so it does this weird thing when you try to turn off the channel like it need to go into this weird menu and then you can turn it off so when I press I assume when I suppose if I try to turn off three channels let's do this this time it worked so it's every time when you try to press this button try to open this weird menu with animation and everything else I don't know if it is trying to do animation while like it's transition in for no reason and uh, it looks fancy but uh, it makes the instrument slow and especially for the power users who are used to with the using scopes all the time they want immediate response and I found it a little bit annoying it may be perfectly normal but uh, if you press the button see pressed takes 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 a fraction of a second takes a fraction of a second and one more little thing which I found really annoying like these colors so every channel has a color of course and uh, colors are also represented by the RGB LED in the buttons but at the channel here down there if you see there is no marking on the channel on these BNC connectors like what color is what color so I have found a workaround around it I put the cables like this so suppose you have all the channels supposed to have three channel turned off you have three channel turned off and you have now only the red only the green channel the yellow is yellow is almost yellow is green you have only channel number one which is yellow and now tell me which color is number channel two you cannot you cannot tell it because it's not visible anywhere at all I have put markers on this cable so you can tell tell channel two is green because I have put markers on the other end as well like this so you can tell which channel is it because there is no other way to tell normally instruments will have what do you call it either they have individual knobs or they have marking or maybe have a little extra color hanging here because once channels are off you can never tell them which channel is what color so if you pick up a probe which happen to be green so if you don't know already and you have not have these markings installed there is no way to know which one is green this is somewhat a oversight at the this marking thing whoever decided this marking stuff maybe they just wanted to follow the color scheme of this blue and gray didn't want any RGB stuff down there but if you would have placed a marker here around here it would have made life a little bit easier and this yellow LED is also eh, falling into when you have green turned on then you see the yellow is yellow but if you do not have green turned on yellow becomes quite greenish on on the screen you will not be able to see because the colors are in this video are not the best but uh, that's a problem